Hello everyone, Matt from Model Minutes here and welcome back to the workbench. I just wanted to make a very quick video about something that um, sort of came up recently. Um, so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The point that was raised a little while ago was about display stands. So if you remember back in the day, this sort of vintage, um, Airfix and other manufacturers would always come with a display stand. So this is um, something I picked up off of eBay. It's mostly there. Uh, there are a few bits missing, but as you can see, we have a display stand included. And this was quite typical of the period, but sort of around the uh, 80s, 90s, I definitely know in the 90s, uh, late 90s, when I started building models, these were missing. These were no longer included. And it was the same for other manufacturers as well. They started removing them. So um, some people seem to think that the reason why is because Airfix and other companies lost the toolings for their um, display stands, which isn't necessarily accurate. I mean, I'm sure someone somewhere did lose them, but um, yeah, it's not entirely true. So the reason I say this is because this year, well, actually it was 2023, so last year, this was re-released. This is the Airfix Vintage Classic DR1 and Bristol F2B. And if we have a quick look inside the box, get your normal bits and pieces, but where have I put them? There we go. In there, you can see that we have two display stands and they are the same design. I'll just get the other one back. They are the exact same design as the one from the vintage kit. So. What has happened, although actually I say it's the same design, it's not quite the same design. So you can see that there's a slight difference there. If you can spot it, let's just move that out of the way. So the vintage one, the, the like the pure vintage one, has a straight slot in the, oh, that's a bit of sunlight there, has a straight slot in the top of your display stand. Whereas on the slightly more modern reproduction, there is a double, double holes here. So I don't think it's a completely new retooling, but it is very similar, isn't it? They've potentially taken the old one and adapted it, but it is actually, it's a different way around as well. So it is potentially a new tooling of it. They've taken the old version and retooled it. It is, interesting as well because on here on the old one and it's probably not going to focus on it oh there's a bit of sunlight there it's the first bit of sunlight we've seen in weeks um yeah it's not wanting to focus on that but on the very bottom it does say made in england under the airfix logo put that one back in the box whereas this one it's been scrubbed out so I think that this is potentially some sort of reverse engineered or they've adapted the tooling that they originally had. But that means that these display stands still exist. Um, well, that's all well and good. If you've got your Bristol F2B and Fokker DR1 set. But what happens if, for example, you've got this one, which doesn't come with it, or this one, which doesn't come with it? Well, Fortunately, there is a solution. Airfix have provided you with a solution. The display stands are available. They're available as a set. So let's have a quick look inside of here and we'll see what we've got. We have an assortment of clear display stands for single aircraft. Uh, AF1008 is your item code. And if you wanted to get some of these at the moment on the Airfix website, they're retailing for £11.99. So let's have a quick look on the back. We have, uh, it says it's for dis this display stands for single 172nd scale or 148th scale aircraft. And there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it looks like there's different sizes. Um, and we have some information here. It says that it was made in India. Let's get that open and see what we've got. This is the old style of stand. And technically, it's not designed to fit the newer style of models. So if you've got um, something more recent, like this, for example, it's not designed to work with this. They actually updated their design of their display stand, and it's designed 
uh, slightly differently. It has a ball and socket joint. It comes in black plastic, but they seem much harder to get. I did actually have the newer design of display stand in a dogfight double set, and I'll put a, a few clips of it on the screen now of when I had that one, and you build it up, and you can use it to display your aircraft. But they don't seem to be as readily available as the vintage classic kits. Granted, the only difference is that on your models, um, the new ones are designed to have two small holes drilled in the bottom, whereas on the older vintage kits, there's a, a rectangular slot. So let's get into this. I've got bits of sprue here just in the bag, just taking up space. Don't need them. Then I've got one here with two missing on the ends. Uh, are they loose in the bag? I don't know. Slightly bigger one. There's a bit of a scratch on that one there right across the top. No, it's not a scratch. It's a, um, it's a snap. It's a, it's sort of a shatter. It's got a splinter down there where it's starting to come away from itself. Um, still usable, but potentially the structural integrity of that one's a bit more questionable. Um, mold quality is generally quite good. There we go. Let's have a look. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six really small ones, and I've got big ones is that what we had on the picture I don't know the picture just seems a bit they seem to get smaller it's almost like they couldn't fit them in so I think these are all the same size I think it's six and six um, but it just says assortment so it's not specific and on here it looks like you get two really massive ones then you get sort of medium-sized ones and then you get really small ones but as far as I can tell in my pack let's have a look they're all the same size aren't they those are the same size Oh, no, that's bigger. Right, so I got two massive ones. That's correct. Two massive ones, four medium-sized ones, and six tiny little ones. So what size would I need if I've just done my Airfix Vintage Classic F80 Shooting Star. So this is one of the kits that was designed with a slot in the bottom. Naturally, you have to cut the slot out, but it's molded into the bottom of it. So I think a small stand. This one's already off the screw, so let's do that one. Let's put the rest of them away. So I'm just gonna cut that away. I imagine you can use glue to assemble this. There's no assembly instructions, but I'm just gonna use my common sense. Snip them off, and that. Uh, a bit of sanding maybe to just tidy up the edges. There's not much in the way of flash. I did have one of these that came uh, with a Harrier many years ago. It was a vintage Harrier, uh, GR1 I think it was. Um, but I remember the end up here snapping off. So the end is like a little hook, and it hooks into the bottom of the plane, or your model. And there were two trains of thought on this. Let's see, that goes in there. It's quite snug, fairly sturdy. So there were, two, there were two trains of thought. So you can see the Airfix logo is pointing that way. So technically, I think that's the way you're supposed to display it. Although, I, th in my opinion, I think it looks better. It looks nicer going that way. Like you put it underneath that way. That's the way I think it looks better, but I think they're technically designed to go this way to help spread the weight. So I don't think that I've left enough space in the bottom of my kit for this to fit. Also, there is a little bit of um, an ejector pin mark here, which is preventing it from going in. There we go, that's in. Right, we did it. Now let's put that back in there. And there's my display stand in the bottom of my plane. And then we put it down here. Huzzah! Look at that, it's worked. So now, if you've got loads of vintage kits, you can have them in a flying pose again. Granted, you do have to buy them separately. So people were probably thinking, why were they not included in their sets anymore? Why weren't they there? Did they lose the toolings? Well, it is possible that they lost the toolings, but the main reason, and I'm sure it's no surprise, is to do with money. It comes down to cost. Um, there was a decision made many years ago that they would save X amount of money by not putting them in the sets. Not all modelers used them. I actually put a poll out on my channel to ask people if they would use them. 
And at the time of making this video, it had just over 2000 votes, which is a relatively small sample size. Uh, but as you can see, not everyone said that they would use them all the time. So if a model kit came with this every single time, there's only 16% of people that would always use it. Um, other people, 60% of people said, you know, they might use it, they might not. Um, but there's like nearly 10% of people down there just saying they wouldn't ever use them. So I can see why it would be a cost saving exercise. It's less raw material to use. It's less weight in uh, the box when it comes to shipping. They don't necessarily need to use large boxes for them. But personally, I would like to always use them. And if a kit has a display stand included in it, I'm probably going to use it. But yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed my quick look at the vintage aircraft display stands, which are still available, granted as a separate set. But as mentioned earlier, please remember that these are for or designed for vintage classic kits from Airfix rather than the new tooled ones where there is a slightly different version for that. Let me know what you think of my video down in the comment section. And also, if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to drop a like. As always, a quick shout out to my channel members and patrons for the extra support they give the channel. A massive thanks to these guys on screen. If you'd like to join the model club, take a look at the links in the description. Alternatively, there are other ways to help support this channel, but the best way to support the channel for free is by subscribing with notifications turned on so you never miss a modeling upload. Finally, though, the last thing to say is a massive thank you to you for watching this, and I'll see you on the workbench again next time.